hello i am allison aka the coffee native creative i love everything art planners journals and all the things between if you're new here i'm so glad you're here and i hope you stick around and if you're returning welcome back so today i'm working in my hobonichi cousin of Vec, which is the first half of 2021 and today specifically is march 29th and 30th so what you can see is what i've done so far is used two different colors of yellow stamp pad to create a background with the fun background stamp that I got ages ago and have no idea where I got it, quite honestly, and I apologize. <laughs> but it's got this fun like flower pattern and then behind the pattern, the flower pattern is basically handwriting. So then I grabbed all the different photos that I wanna use on these pages and now I'm gluing down a piece of, I guess, scrapbook paper. I got this from an ephemera exchange that I did with some of my friends, and I just love it. I love the butterflies. I love sort of the brown, warm tones, so I really wanted to use it on this day. So I basically just cut a small piece and then um, realized I had glued the wrong side, so I just decided to rip <laughs> um, the rip the side, basically. Um, and what I am sticking down now are a picture that I printed off on just sticker paper of these two men who have a YouTube channel called Richard and Paul. <laughs> and it has nothing to do with journaling, nothing to do with art. But on this particular day, on the 29th, which was a Monday, I was highly stressed out. I was just kind of in a bad mood, to be honest. And I was just feeling very blah. And then I stumbled upon their YouTube channel and it just completely turned my mood around. They made me laugh. I just thought they're super funny and it's just my humor. I don't know. They're not like comedians or anything, but I just think they were very entertaining. So I wanted to put a picture down of them because they honestly helped me out this day. <laughs> um, on the opposite page, you saw me take a picture also printed on sticker paper of Chicago. I actually took it from the car as my husband was driving. I was like taking a picture, um, but that is uh, Navy Pier in Chicago. So I took a picture of that and then I ripped it in half and then put half of it up at the top and half at the bottom. And this index card that you've seen me work on where I added a little background and now I'm sticking the picture of the root beer and the poke bowl on the, in the front. And then on the back was that picture of me and some notes. The reason why this index card is part of this day's spread is because on this day, I successfully defended my dissertation proposal. So it was a really big deal. It's been literally, I'd say, two years in the making um, trying to get to this point with my PhD. So I know most people don't know, and it's completely fine if you don't know, but essentially when someone is working on a PhD, they have to defend what they want to do for their project. They have to defend their research and basically, it means that you have to sort of talk about everything that came before you. You have to write almost over half of your final dissertation. And then you have to present it in front of people who are on your committee. And then they have to ask you all these questions. And it can be sort of like a grilling session, although mine was not, thank God. But basically, it's really stressful. And it's one of the biggest hurdles to actually getting it done. And so on this day, I did it. And that's why I was so stressed on Monday. You can see a theme, right? I was stressed all weekend. I had been just kind of freaking out about it, quite honestly. So the fact that I had done it and it was good and I got a green light, which you don't always get. Sometimes you get like a yellow light. Sometimes you get a red light. And then sometimes you get a green light. They don't actually use lights, but I'm just using it as a metaphor. Um, was super exciting. So I wanted to, of course, commemorate it in my journal. Um, so those stickers I use that say ABD yay, I picked up at the dollar store and they're red and blue. And I kind of by default went with a Chicago theme. So um, behind that root beer bottle, you can see some of the Chicago flag if you're not familiar with it, but it's basically two light blue lines and then red stars four red stars. So that's how I kind of wound up using this blue and red theme. But then I also have the yellow. So it was a little bit of a weird color scheme, but I ended up liking it a lot. And 
hey, you know, you just kind of got to go where the page takes you, right? <laughs> right. Um, so on the opposite side of that tip in, which I obviously um, taped down with just clear tape, is a picture of me. And I was so, I guess you could say, like nervous, anxious, kind of just like, oh, I wanted to get the thing done. It was at 10 o'clock in the morning. It was virtual. And so I was just trying to make sure that I looked okay on you know, the screen. And then I decided to take a picture of myself. And so, of course, I had to put that in my journal. <laughs> and then the index card was actually what I used during the one of them. I, there were many, but one that I used during the presentation. So like I had to do a presentation and um, I just decided to keep that index card because it's so old school, right? To use like an actual index card. <laughs> um, and then I wanted to pull the butterflies through like I um you know I'd started the butterflies on the left hand side and I wanted to pull them through because I feel like they're actually kind of apropos I mean if you think about a butterfly they're in their little cocoons and they're just trying to like do what they got to do so that they can then be set free and beautiful and you know impress the world with their gorgeousness and I'm not saying that's what is going on with me at all but I do feel like finally getting this proposal done lets me free to start actually doing my research, which is like so exciting. Sorry, I know I'm kind of going on tangent here, but I then used a Posca pen to outline the page with um, like almost like red little dashes. I used stickers to mark Tuesday. I then did a bunch of journaling. Um, now I'm stamping. So there is a lot of stamping in this particular journal with me. Um, just to give you a sense, I had to cut out a lot. I mean, this was over an hour that I spent on this. I was really doing it leisurely. I did not want to put any pressure on myself. So I cut out a lot, just FYI. Um, and now I'm still trying to figure out how to make this tip in like better, I suppose. And so I got out my tab punch and I used this green and blue like paint blob. I've been wanting to use them and I'm created like a little tab, but spoiler alert, I don't, it doesn't wind up that way because it actually really bugged me that those colors. Um, but what I did do and what I guess stayed was the color blurb with the yellow and sort of light pink. Um, that is from Loveland's Life. It's a printable and I cut it out and then I'm just stamping on top of it with like a brown um, March 29th, because on every one of my pages, I try to make sure that there's the day of the week and obviously the number of the day. So that's how I decided to do it there. And then this washi that I used throughout the page is actually a Simply Gilded washi. It's my favorite Simply Gilded washi. Um, you wouldn't know it's Simply Gilded except for the fact that I just told you because there's no bows on it. But um, it's basically like a subtle I guess leopard print. I just love it. I love the brown and the black together. And so I decided to use it up at the top a little bit as well. And then that big yellow flower, which I apologize was hard to see in certain places because of the shine of the light. But um, that yellow flower is just in my ephemera. It's just a fun flower picture, which I liked because it was yellow. I mean, that's really what was going on with that one. <laughs> so this is where I fixed that tab. So I used the tab punch to... Um, basically redo the tab. Um, I had some more pictures of Chicago. I was like literally taking pictures as we were driving down Lakeshore and I didn't use the one. And so I decided, you know, let me make the tab out of that. And I actually like it way better than that blue and green. I just feel like the blue and green didn't work at all. And now as a final touch, I'm using my little stamps and um, just putting some stamps throughout the page. So this is basically how it turned out. Um, I would love to hear what you think of it. Um, oh, yeah. And I also rounded the corners. <laughs> I feel like this tip-in is like the longest, I, most time I've spent on a tip-in ever. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the pages. I hope you're doing really well. And I'll see you in the next 